In this video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to go from 1,000 coins to 1 million coins. So if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to learn how to make coins or just general trading videos. Over 50% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure you subscribe. Before we get into the reason why you clicked on this video, I just want to go over a couple of things that you guys should know before entering this video. So the first thing is that it's going to be a bit of a grind, especially if you're starting off from 1,000 coins. The original 1,000 to 1 million coins may be a bit of a grind. Of course, if you've got 500,000 coins already, then it's not going to be so much of a grind to get that first million. Or if you're someone who's made multiple millions of coins before, you know, starting from scratch and then going back. Because the very first million is always going to be the hardest. And when you hit that first million, the million to 2 million is always going to be easier. You're able to buy more cards per hour. That would mean you're going to be able to make more coins per hour so the second thing i want to discuss is that you guys are going to get outbid mentally you have to understand guys that you are going to get outbid i get frustrated you see run the foot market when he tries and buy uh, buys uh, players on open bid he gets outbid any kind of trader you will always get outbid so guys when the sooner you understand that you're going to get outbid but you're just going to be persistent you're just going to keep going for it you will win those bids now let's get into the video so the very first method that i want to go over with you guys is of course if you're starting from scratch we need to find a method for you guys that if you've got 1000 coins or you've got 500 coins you need to find a method so you can generate those coins so the method is we're going to be trading with silvers maybe you've seen this on my channel but if you're new to the channel maybe you haven't seen this method or you know you just haven't seen this method in general but i'm presuming you are because it is a pretty common method so the first thing you want to do is deal with silvers and we're going to be trading with the top five leagues and the idea behind this method is that we're going to be playing uh, trading with players that have been in league sbcs so choose a league we have a bundesliga Serie A, premier league just one of the top five leagues i find is uh, is the, is the best so maximum price uh, 300 coins and of course you want to search and the idea behind this is that it's going to fit around open bids and all you want to do is sort of go through players that look pretty decent and just have a look and see how much they go for so the example i'm going to be using is dear Sun. pretty decent 89 pace you know pretty decent silver card not the greatest on shooting but 72 overall so what we're going to do is then back out and we're just going to search how much this card goes for and it is probably going to probably be hopefully under a thousand coins and the idea behind this method is that we are going to hopefully double our coins. So by the looks of it, he's going out for 700 coins, maybe a little bit less, 600 coins, 650. So 650 by the looks of it could be our selling price, 600 if we want a quick sell. So all you would do, guys, is go back out, and then, of course, we're going to bid on that for 300 coins because we know we can sell this card for 650 coins. So you're going to want to do this method from, you know, one, under 1,000 coins up until around about 15 to 20,000 coins. Now I'm going to go out and buy some cards and show you a couple of examples. So we picked up a couple of cards using the method that I explained. There are some we won for 300. We're going to be able to sell him for 600 coins. And Padu that we picked up for 350. Again, we should be able to double our coins, sell him for around about 700 coins. And Saracen Bays, we picked up for 450. We should be able to sell this card for 850 coins. This whole process took around about two to three minutes to pick up this card. Again, as you can see, I have been outbid on an Oxford. This card only goes for around about 650 coins. So guys, you are going to get outbid, but it's okay. Maybe if you're not, uh, if the Bundesliga or one of the top five leagues ain't working for you, look at their squad building challenges tab and just look to see what other leagues that have uh, a player out on the SBC menu that you guys could maybe trade in that league. So what I normally do if I don't have any excess in Bundesliga, I'll try the Premier League. I'll then try Serie A. I'll then try League 1. Just keep going around like that. So with any kind of method, guys, I want to show you some proof that the method does actually work. So we listed these cards up around about 10 minutes ago. And Dero Sun sold for 600 coins. We picked them up for 350. We sold this Saracen Bays for 850. We picked them up for 450. This Ampadu hasn't sold within the first 10 minutes. And regarding these uh, cards, the longest uh, part of this method is actually selling the cards. Sometimes they'll take 10 minutes. Sometimes they'll take half an hour. Sometimes they may take an hour or two. So just be patient. Keep doing it and you will make coins. So you've just made that 20,000 coins and you want to move on to a new method to can hopefully accelerate that coin growth. And the methods we're going to be discussing are the gold, hunter and shadow. So the first thing you want to be doing is gold, hunter, maximum price 3k, minimum buy now 3k. Now, if you're not having success with the 3k uh, buy now max and uh, minimum buy now, just adjust it. Maybe adjust it to 4k on each or just adjust it on 5k on each. Just have a play around with a filter until more cu cards come on the market. You are, you are ideally going to want to do this method after 6 p.m. simply because of the fact there's going to be more cards so we've got this method and the idea behind it is again open bids and we see there's Werner there's Jesus and Martial so we're going to have a quick look just to see how much those cards go for in Hunter and of course when you do the shadow method you want to
to do exactly the same. So how much does a Timber Werner 83 go for in a Hunter? And by the looks of it, he's only going for 3,000 coins. That card's up at, you know, 2.1k. So we know that's not the greatest deal in regards to how many coins we are going to make. Moving on to Anthony Martial. We're going to look and see how much he goes for in a Hunter. And this is all you got to do, guys. you just got to see how many coins these cards go for. So, so Anthony Martial is actually really cheap right now. I didn't really realize how cheap these cards are. So by the looks of it, in a Hunter, he's going for around about 3.7 to 3.5k coins. These two have only just been listed up. Again, guys, do never, never put your cards up for the last buy now. So 3.4k and 3.5k, they should both sell respectively. So let's have a look at how much we could pick up a uh, Anthony Martial. He has got a position change, so we can take that into account to see if we can make any more coins with the uh, left mid to left forward. He has got a position change. So let's just see how much a left forward now Anthony Martial goes for because that changes things. That means that he could go for a little bit more. So let's just put in 4,000 coins just to see how much he goes for. So, but he look, it's a little bit more like 3.8, 3.9 could be our actual target selling price. So let's just go and see if we're going to win. Unfortunately, again, guys, you see we are getting our bid and that is okay. We are going to get our bid. Again, we're going to put in 2.8k. Can we win this card and maybe sell it on for 3.9? But whilst you're doing this, you're going to want to look at other cards as well. And this is where I'm going to show you the shadow method. So pretty much the shadow is pretty much the same filters apply. So gold, shadow, 3,000 maximum price, 3,000 minimum buy now. Again, if it's not working for you, maybe change up the filter. So you want to look at some cards. So Munier, we're going to have a look at and see if we can pick this card up. Again, all you do, you're just going to search up how much Munier goes for in a shadow. So let's just put in 3,000 coins. There's none at 3,000 coins. Any at 4,000, there's none at 4,000. None at 5,000, there's none at 6,000. Right. Well, there's three or five thousand. They've been on the market. And again, with these cards, these cards will take a while to sell. When I say a while, maybe like a... Uh, maybe like an hour or two because you've got to think of course people do have much better teams now so the purpose of someone putting Munier at right back with a shadow you know people are not going to build this for your teams but I can tell you now guys this me method still does work so we've put in 2.5k we can try and sell this for maybe 4.5k to 5k that is where I realistically I want to be trying to sell this card out so let's see if we can win this card for 2.5k because after tax that's on around about 1 to 2k so of course as you go through the methods guys the more profit margins you should be making so on this card, if we pick this up at 2.5, unfortunately, it's got our bid. Again, we just go and bid and see if we can win. And as I was saying, so of course, as you go through the methods, your, your percentage in returns on returns on investment, like how many coins you're going to make per card, of course, going to be a lot greater. If you've got 1 million coins, then you're going to be able to trade with cards at three or 400k, and you're going to be able to make more coins per card, per transaction, 20 to 30k, and this is exactly how I do it. Of course, I don't use this method because, you know, the return on investment is very good in, in the regards that you maybe, you know, spend 2.7k, to make uh, 1,000 coins profit. That's a very good return on investment percentage-wise. But of course, I want to be making 20, 30, 10, 40k a card. Of course, so therefore, I trade with higher cards. So the first bit's going to be a bit of a grind. So as I was saying, Munier was selling for, selling for around about 5.5k. We're going to try and sell this card for a quick profit because, of course, for the purpose of the video, I want to try and see... I want to, I like to show you guys that these cards sell. So I've listed them up for 4.5k. If I wanted to be a little bit more patient, which I advise you guys to do, then maybe sell that card at 5,000 coins. And this card here, we're going to sell at 3.7k. Not the greatest profit margin, but again, just showing you that these cards do sell. You are able to buy these cards. You are going to get out bid. So just be a little bit patient in regards to that. So... We're going to see if these cards sell. Guys, as you already know, I like to show you proof that these cards do sell. So Marshall that we listed up, you know, less than two minutes ago, hasn't sold just yet, 3.7K. But we have sold Munier that I've done it at a, a cut price. I could have sold him for like 500 coins more at 5K. But for the purpose of the video, I wanted to show you that these cards do sell. So we picked them up for 2.7, having selling him at 4.5K, which is a decent profit, around about 1.7, 1.8K profit, around about there, maybe a little bit less. But anyway, that is how it is. We've sold him for 4.5k. You're going to want to do this method from around about 20 to maybe 150k. It is going to be a little bit tedious because you are going to be using the same method. But I can tell you now, guys, it's going to be worth it. Once you hit that million coins, it's going to be all worth it. So use this method from around about 20,000 to 150,000 coins. Well done, guys. You've just hit 200,000 coins, 150 to 250,000 coins. Again, you want to accelerate that coin growth. I'm going to be showing you the same trading method, but three different filters for the next couple of stages of this video. So you've just hit 150,000 coins. And the idea of this is, again, open bid. So we're going to do special 50,000 max price, 85,000 minimum buy it now. And what this does, of course, the maximum price open bid is 50K. So you won't see an open bid higher than 50,000. But the minimum buy it now of that card is now 
85,000. So what you want to do is just search for some cars that are on open bid. Ideally, how I like to do this is that trade with cars that have been in the past. Don't trade with here like with shapeshifters when you're seeing this video because, of course, these cars are in demand. So a lot of people are trying to trade with shapeshifters at the moment. So try and use your attention elsewhere to maybe win a refresh or just general informs. That's exa exactly how I like to do it. So we we've got a Ricardo Pereira here at 2000 well 12000 maximum bid and we've also got a bid here uh, at Kimmich but I actually know that's not the greatest deal so we're going to leave that so we're going to use Ricardo Pereira as a, as our example again you're going to want to be trading after 6 p.m because i'll just find out of course there's a lot more cards on the market a lot of the europe user base are on after 6 p.m ea have just dropped of course like whatever content they decide to drop for the, for the day if they do that anyway so what we want to do again is just look at a Ricardo Pereira the idea behind this filter, again, is that there's no hunter or shadow. I used to do a lot of hunter and shadow trading, but, you know, I've sort of, I'd still do it sometimes, but I like to trade with, of course, just normal cards because there's a lot more of them on the market. So the first thing you want to do is have a look at what is the cheapest Ricardo Pereira in form. So by the looks of it, it's going to be around about 45 to 40K. So 45,000 coins. We're going to have to keep going here, guys. Sorry for that. 43,000. Is there any more? So 43,000 is the cheapest. There's actually been a shadow here at 42,000. What we're going to do is, of course, just see if there's any how many shadows there are under a certain price. So these two Ricardo Pereiras here at 42, 43,000, there's only two under 46,000. So what we're going to do is just have a look. At 48,000. How many are under 48,000? So we could probably buy this card for 42,000 and then sell it for around about 47,000 during the day, making around about 3k a card. Um, what we're going to do though is, of course, the open bid. So we've got 42,000. We're going to put in a bid of 41,000. Of course, the profit margins for this particular card is not the greatest. So we're only going to be making maybe three or four K. But the things that I find this is a lot better than, for example, this gold method here. Firstly, the cards sell a lot more. So the profit, of course, comes a little bit quicker because there's more demand for these cards than if you're buying a Hunter Werner or a Hunter Jesus. So let's try and bid on 42,000. Of course, I could have just bought that one that's actually 42K. But we're going to, for the purpose of the video, see if we win it. So we haven't won it. So what we're going to do, just for the purpose, we're going to buy this card for 42K and I'm going to list it for 47,000. Again, I'm not going to show you for this particular method that him selling because sometimes it takes like an hour or two, maybe two or three hours because with informs, prices fluctuate all the time. So that is the first uh, filter. Again, just to go over it quickly, all you want to do, special um, uh, 50,000, 85,000, yeah, actually 60,000, 60,000, 55,000 and just have a look. This is another thing I just want to clarify, guys. If you ever get this screen where it's just informs, you're going to have to keep backing out and searching into the filter. For some reason, EA sort of glitches and just decides, you know what, we're just going to show you informs. So what you have to do literally is keep going in, keep going out, and then eventually what will actually happen is they will decide to put other players into the, into the game so you're able to bid on them. So as you see, it literally just keeps doing it. So you're literally just going to have to keep spamming it. It ranges between maybe 10 searches to 15 searches. So I'm just going to show you this. If this happens, then make sure you keep doing it. There we go. So you, as you saw, I just kept spamming it and it does eventually work. So you've got this Digne. Again, what you could do, I'm probably not going to win this card. So we're going to have a look again at the cheapest Digne. And all you want to do is just search him. So Digne in a special. So let's just put in 40k and that will do. So 40,000 coins. There's none at 40,000 coins. Any at 42, there's none at 42. So 47,000 coins by the looks of it is the cheapest um Lucas Dignate on the market, 46,000, maybe not. So let's have a look. So we're looking at 45K by the looks of it, looking at 45,000 coins as our target price to maybe sell. There is a couple of shadows in there. They will sell. So we're looking at around about 43 to 45K. So again, what you do is you go, and unfortunately, he, he we didn't win the bid at 37,250. Uh, but this one's a little bit better of a profit margin. Again, we've only invested 37K, but this card will probably sell for 44 to 45K. So after tax, you're making around about 5K a card. And regarding percentage of returns, what I try and do is try your best to aim for 5K profit a card. Again, because you're search, you're trying to aim for those target percentages, you are going to get outbid. So just be wary, guys. You are going to get our bid you're not going to win every single bid like i showed you ricardo Pereira. we had to buy him and we got out bid so just be be patient again just be persistent and that is for the first method you want to going to want to do this to around about three to four hundred k maybe five hundred k and i'm going to show you exactly the same method but a different filter so you just hit three to four hundred k you want to continue doing this method but of course we want to be trading with a little bit more expensive players because the profit margins are a little bit better so again 
the special maximum price this time is a hundred thousand coins and minimum buy now is 120,000 coins exactly exactly the same principles apply open bids is what we're looking for again you're going to want to look through cards that maybe don't uh that have a high open bid so look at this roman angoli okay 54,500. now what we're going to do again is just see how much roman angoli goes for as we're trading with special cards you are able to use footbin and what i like to do is um you know, just search on this card on Footbin and see how much his daily fluctuations go for. If he goes for 70,000 coins at certain times of the day and he's going for 60,000 coins at that time of the day you're currently trading, maybe look to picking that card up and selling him on a later, later hour on that day for 70,000 coins. So 65K is the price for Roman Ngoli. He has gone up to 60,000 coins. We want to make a decent amount of coins because the EA tax, of course, is far greater. Then we've got to take into account that if we bought this card at 61K, we'll make 500 or 1,000 coins. It's not great. So what we're going to do, I'm going to try and pick up one or two players and then show you them as examples. So guys, we've won a couple of cards using the filter I've just shown. And um, this process, again, took around about five minutes after. So with this method, guys, you are going to be waiting a couple of minutes maybe for cards. We've got a bid here on Robertson. We're just looking at some Nelson, Tomatoes, and Goretzka. So we just have been outbid, I think, on that Robertson. So this card goes for around about 143K. So we're going to bid around about 128 to 130,000 coins. Of course, guys, you've got to remember EA tax. So we've won a Thomas Muller for 110,000 coins. And we've won a Goretzka for 88,000 coins. And these are the cards, the card, kind of cards I'm trading with. I'm trying to stay with the cards that have just been dropped out of promos because, of course, they've got a lot more demand. They're on the market. People want, they're new to the game. So people just want to try and buy them. So, of course, the competition there is a lot greater. So I like trading with previous cards. Of course, Scream Muller. So we picked them up for 110,000. And I'm going to show you the prices of Scream Muller and um Goretzka so 110,000 so let's put in minimum bite now 100k maximum bite now 124k so as we see a hunter Muller goes for 124,000 and we'll be able to sell him for 124,000 after tax that is around about 6,000 coins so we're looking uh, around about a good 5 to 6k uh, 7,000 coins let me just double check on FIFA tools it's a website that I like to use just to double check like how many coins I make so if we sold this Muller at 124,000 coins we bought him at 110,000 coins it'll tell me exactly how many coins I made so on this Muller transaction I'm going to make 7,800 coins on that one purchase and we're going to do the exactly the same with Goretzka so Goretzka that I picked up at 88,000 coins we're going to see how many coins we have actually potentially made so, I, of course, I already know the rough price of how much he sells for. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bidden on the card. But, of course, for the purpose of the video, I want to show you. So, these are just been listed up for 95k. And, of course, you've got to understand price fluctuation. So, right now, of course, there could be a bit of a, you know, undercut. So, if the next undercut was 90,000 coins or 88,000 coins, I could potentially buy that. But... For me, the selling price of Goretzka is 98,000 coins. I picked him up at 88,000 coins on an open bid, and I'm going to try and sell him for 98,000 coins. Again, after tax, that is 5,100 coins. So in two transaction, guys, we've made over 13,000 coins on those two cards. Let's just see if we've won or been outbid on that. Robertson. So this Robertson sold for 129k. This card sells for 143k. Of course, I have missed out on it, but it doesn't matter because, I, of course, I wanted to show you how much these cards actually sold for. So my selling price for this Robertson would have been 143,000 coins. He sold for 129,000 coins. Whether this guy's a trader or not, or he's just bought them for his team, but you're looking at making around about 7,000 coins after tax, 6,850 coins to be, to be precise. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to go and sell Muller. I'm going to go sell Goretzka, and I'm going to come back. Again, guys, I like to show proof. So I have listed up these Gretzkas and the Muller that you can see has sold. So we listed them up for 98,000 coins. This card will probably take a little bit longer than, of course, Muller because of the fact that his price fluctuation. He is around about 95k right now. But I'm confident that I'll sell this card within the next couple of hours for 98k. So, of course, if you've got coins, you can be a little bit more patient in regards to selling these cards. However, of course, for Muller, I actually listed up for 123. He sold within 30 seconds. And the reason why I've done that, again, for mainly the purpose of the video, because I want to upload it maybe today or tomorrow. I am recording this on the 27th. So this may go out on the 27th. But anyway, we picked this card up for 110,000 coins on an open bid using the filter that I showed you. And we sold it for 123,000 coins. Again, that was the whole process was buying and selling this card was maybe maximum five minutes. And we made around about 6,000 coins on this card, which is very good. Now let's get into the next filter. So you've just hit 700,000 coins or 800,000 coins and you're approaching on hitting that 1 million coin mark. We have two options. You can either use the last filter to hit 1 million 
or you can use be, to begin using this filter and then use this filter for 1 million and beyond. You can still use the other filter for 1 million and beyond, um, but I like to use this filter just because, of course, it suits more my coins target. So what we're going to be doing is going to do maximum price 200,000 coins, minimum bite now 300,000 coins. Exactly the same thing applies regarding this method, but of course, just got to take into account, guys, the 5% EA tax. Once you trade with higher cost players, the EA tax is a lot more. Of course, if you're trading with players at a million coins, then of course, you've got to take into account that after tax, you're going to be losing 50,000 coins and etc. So on. So, how I like to use this method is foot bin. So, obviously, what I do, for example, this Timo Werner that I like that we're looking at here on an open bid, we're going to search in Timo Werner on foot bin, the 88. And then, what you want to do once you've done that, I can't actually physically show you it, but I may put like a picture of his graph or something is look at his hourly graph so of course it is weekend league rewards prices have gone up so you want to be doing this uh, method after 6 p.m the reason why i suggest 6 p.m is because of the fact that if you buy this card at two or three o'clock in the afternoon hoping to sell this card for like 20 30k late more later in the day and ea drops something at six o'clock that takes coins away from the market then you've exposed yourself to the fact that ea have dropped something and this card or the market crashes for that exact reason so i like to use this method after ea have dropped something you know so the market is sort of more settled at that period of time sort of thing if that makes sense now what I like to do is like to look at his price fluctuation. So on this bid, on open bid at 176, 177,000 coins, if I've seen at some part, parts of the day, two or three times at a part of the day, he's at 195,000 coins, then you know what I'll do is I'll go and bid on this card and be like, right, okay, this card goes for at certain times of day, 195,000 coins. I'm going to bid 170, 180 because I know maybe in a couple of hours of time, his price is going to be 195,000 coins again. Or you could do it the more traditional old way, as which is the way I showed you before is literally just go on and on the market for that player and search room so we're going to look at a 90 left mid Diabala. how much does he go for so Diabala again we're going to be looking at him how much does he go so we're going to just put in 150k i don't actually know his actual price so we're just going to put 100k let me look on footbin to, to make that process a little bit quicker so Diabala, he had a bid of 126k he only goes for 135k so that card wouldn't be the greatest so how i like to also do it guys is that just change it again i'd use 200,000 maximum price uh 300,000 uh, coins and now we're just up in the 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 filters again to 300 400 again we're coming into territory where we're going to be paying a lot more tax in regards and you're going to be seeing cards such as guardiola and again as you can see as a common thing you're going to be waiting five ten minutes a card so again trading after 6 p.m sort of eliminates the fact that you have to wait so long again what i would doing in this situation with 10 minutes out i'd look how much this 85 guardiola goes for on foot bin and respectively so He's got an open bid of 202,000 coins. At the moment on PlayStation, 46 minutes ago, he says he's 250,000 coins. That is not like up to date. But I do like, again, to like, I like to look at the graph. And he says he roughly goes for all day around about 250,000 coins. So it looks like Guardiola's price is at 250,000 coins. But we've got to take into account the fact that is, that card is selling for um you know 250,000 coins we've got to take into it tax so 25,000 coins again what i like to do is use fifa tools and 250,000 coins and what we'll do is how much is 220 off 225k 12,500 coins so if we picked up that um, guardiola which we're going to go find guardiola which is the 85 so if we looked at this card at 250k as his selling price if we picked him up for 225k then he's uh, and selling to for 250 then he's after tax we make 12 and a half k and of course you can be a little bit more greedy and maybe go 220 as your target buyer price and you make 17 and a half k but of course you've got to remember guys icons are in demand as well because of especially at the weekend these cards rise because of the fact that people use them to build teams for links so do not be surprised if you don't actually win the card or you get outbid so guys that is going to be the process i'm not going to show you unfortunately on this section like buying and selling the card because the process takes a little bit longer but the same principles do apply so you can either go back to the previous filter that i uh, suggested which was the hundred thousand to two hundred twenty thousand max bid a minimum buy it now and then trade to one million coins that way or you can maybe start to you know use this method which is a method that i like to use once i've got past one million coins so you can use maybe use this method from 700k all the way past to one million maybe hitting your first two million coins first time you've hit two million coins
Before we end the video, guys, I'd like just to say you are going to get outbid. The first 1 million coins is going to be a grind. But once you hit 1 million coins, I can tell you now, that's 2 million coins, that 3 million coins, that 5 million coin target is going to happen a lot quicker as to when you went from 1,000 to 1 million coins. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Again, 50% of you who, who watch my videos haven't subscribed. So if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give it a like. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.